On June 24, 2021, tragedy struck South Florida when the Champlain Tower South condos unexpectedly collapsed. Florida lawmakers and municipalities began to investigate what they could do to ensure this would never happen again. About a year later, Florida passed legislation that outlined the framework to make sure any structural issues are caught before it's too late. Although intended to benefit condo owners, this legislation will likely lead to extreme disruption and distress in the condo market, forcing many owners to leave their homes to avoid major special assessments or payments required by the Homeowners Association. The bill, also known as the Building Safety Law, brought about two major changes. First, all Florida condominiums and buildings over three stories must undergo a mandatory structural inspection. This includes a visual examination for structural deterioration and further testing if any potential issues are found. The test itself, not including the cost of any repair work, is estimated to range from $10,000 to $30,000, all paid for by residents. If the building is three stories or higher and over 30 years old, the test must be completed by the end of 2024 and must be completed once every 10 years thereafter. All other buildings must complete the inspection by December 31st of the year in which the building turns 30 years old or 25 years old if the building is within three miles of the coastline. Second, beginning in 2025, homeowners associations may not waive the funding of replacement reserves for items like roof repair, building painting, repaving, or any other deferred maintenance. In the past, associations could decide to waive these reserves to reduce monthly HOA fees for the residents. Additionally, HOAs must undergo a structural integrity reserve study to determine what reserves the property should be carrying today. By the end of 2024, all reserve levels must be replenished to the amounts determined by the inspection. Buildings without adequate reserves for necessary repairs are 50% more common in Florida compared to other states, as many associations have opted to waive the monthly reserve funding. If an HOA wants to avoid a massive special assessment for reserves at the end of 2024, residents will see staggering increases to their monthly HOA payments to catch up for these past practices. On top of these two major changes, the legislation also imposed personal liability on association officers and directors if they fail to comply with these new requirements. Running an HOA is already a thankless position, so this added liability will further deter individuals who may be most qualified. Unfortunately, lower income individuals will be the ones most impacted by these new laws. Many will not be able to afford these new special assessments or increase monthly HOA fees and will be forced to sell. The frequency of investors and developers buying out condominiums with lower income residents will be much higher. Preventing loss of life is, and should be, the main focus of this legislation. While this goal may be accomplished, many individuals will be displaced in the process, and the economics of owning a condo in Florida will be permanently changed.